In this video, we're going to talk about the top four reasons why you should consider moving to Spring Hill, Florida. My name is Frankie Gomez. I'm a realtor with eXp Realty. So if you have any questions about real estate or the topics of my videos, feel free to reach out to me at 352-428-7183. Also, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you enjoy my content or you find it helpful. It's really appreciated. Reason number one to consider moving to Spring Hill, Florida is the proximity to major cities. If we zoom in a little bit here, we'll see that Spring Hill is centrally located between Gainesville, Orlando, and Tampa. It's about two to two and a half hours to Gainesville, an hour and a half to hour and 40 minutes to Orlando, and then 40 to 50 minutes to Tampa. Zooming in on Spring Hill a little bit, we'll see that uh, Spring Hill is actually part of Florida's Nature Coast region, surrounded by Hernando Beach to the west, Brooksville to the east, uh, Wikiwachi and Crystal River and Homestassa to the north. And then if we head south, um, we'll head it, as soon as we pass County Line Road here, we'll be in Pasco County towards Hudson, uh, Newport Ritchie, uh, Odessa, which a lot of you are probably familiar with. Uh, that's a great area with a really outstanding communities. Um, but anyways, um, if we travel a little bit more south um, and, and west of Tampa, we'll be in Clearwater, which is about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes, depending on which beach you go to. But there's a variety of beaches in this area, whether you're looking for a more touristy beach like Clearwater, a more private beach like Madeira or Treasure Island, and then even dog friendly beaches as well. So uh, a lot of options when it comes to beach life. Um, speaking about Tampa, uh, some of the major benefits are the sports teams, uh, the nightlife and restaurants. Um, obviously living in Tampa is a little bit more expensive, but the international airport's only about 45 minutes from Spring Hill. Uh, and obviously we're home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Tampa Bay Rays, which are located in St. Petersburg. Talking about Orlando a little bit, um, if we head over to Orlando, um, like I said, about an hour and a half ride to Orlando, but we have uh, some of the major theme parks like Universal Orlando, uh, Disney World, as well as Aquatica, which is a great um, water park. Heading back north to Crystal River, you'll find Crystal River Springs and Homosassa Springs, which is home of some of the clearest and bluest water you'll find. If we zoom in here on Three Sister Springs, which is a pretty common attraction in Crystal River, you'll see how clear and blue this water is. Um, you obviously will see manatees on these springs. And um, if we go back to Wikiwachi, um, I'll show you some photos of Wikiwachi Springs Park, which is home of the mermaids where they put on shows for children. And there's also a a uh, little beach area where you can lounge, a dock you can swim out to, and also some uh, some little water slides for kids as well. So uh, a lot to do in and around Spring Hill. The proximity to some of the major cities is really beneficial. You can easily take a day trip out to any of those areas. So um, uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about was the colleges in the area. So um, if you live in Spring Hill and your son or daughter is graduating high school soon, um, there's plenty of options. In Gainesville, you have the University of Florida. In Orlando, you have the University of Central Florida. And in Tampa, you actually have two colleges, uh, the private school, which is University of Tampa, and then USF, University of South Florida, which is a public school. Affordability is another factor when considering Spring Hill. Overall, properties are cheaper in Spring Hill. You'll likely get more land, and you might even get a pool with the same amount of money that you would spend in Tampa or Wesley Chapel or Lutz. Odessa, the list goes on. Uh, that's partly because Spring Hill is more north than all those other areas mentioned. But as I mentioned in the past segment, um, you know, the proximity to major cities is also a benefit at the same time. The median home price in Spring Hill is about 326,000 and the cost of living when comparing Spring Hill to Tampa is about 7% cheaper. Uh, when you compare Spring Hill to the nation in general, it's about 4% cheaper. Number three is appreciation in home values. Spring Hill is constantly developing new homes, new restaurants, and new things to do for its residents, slowly becoming more and more attractive to people moving to the Tampa Bay area. More than likely, Spring Hill will always be the more affordable option when comparing it to places like Tampa. But as uh, Tampa becomes overpopulated, people constantly are flowing into Tampa, you'll see more people moving out of it. 
And I believe that'll cause Spring Hill homes to appreciate because there'll be more buyer demand. So affordability and a more relaxed lifestyle that Spring Hill offers compared to Tampa, which may be more cluttered, is gonna increase buyer demand, thus increasing home appreciation. The fourth reason to look into Spring Hill is the outdoors. Spring Hill offers an abundance of outdoor activities, including the Wikiwashi River and the Wikiwashi State Park. Uh, they also have the Wikiwashi Preserve, which is conservation lands that run all the way up to Crystal River. It's actually about 12,000 acres, and it's great for hiking or having a picnic. The area also offers other hiking trails like the Kroom Hiking Trails, the Chasso Wisco Wildlife, and the Perry Oldenburg Mitigation Park, which is famous for tortoise. On top of hiking, Spring Hill also has options for people that want to be on the water. In Hudson, we have Sunwest Park, which is pretty near the area. It's about 20 minutes from Spring Hill, depending on where you are. But it's a man-made beach with an area to tan, to swim. It also has an inflatable water park for kids and wakeboarding. We also have Pine Island, which is on the water. It's a nice park area where people can grill and chill out. And if you're into boating or fishing, we have Hernando Beach, which is located to the west of Spring Hill. It's about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on where you live. But they offer fishing charters, uh, marinas for boat storage. And a lot of people like to take their boat out to the what we call the flats. It's a couple of islands when uh, low tide comes in. People go out there and can actually stand up in the water. They grill, they have a few beers, just enjoy themselves. So that's also a good option for people living in Spring Hill. I hope you all got some value out of this video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future videos. You can also check out my channel for past videos that I've done on Spring Hill and other real estate related content. If you have any questions or you'd like to buy or sell in the area, my phone number is 352-428-7183. Feel free to reach out at any time.